Good evening, garden lovers. Tonight I thought I would show you the variety of sunflowers that I have in my garden because I have several and they all perform a little bit differently. I love them because of their bright shiny faces uh, and the color that they bring to the garden. So the first tier that I'm showing you is called Sunfinity. It's an annual. You can see it, it gets to about three feet tall. has a continuous bloom with these upright uh, stems. Uh, it was, looks very clean. You do have to deadhead it so that it will continue to bloom. It is, the bees are crazy for it. You can see even here when it's almost seven o'clock that, that there's a little bee there having his um, dessert. So uh, it has been a terrific bloomer. It needs six hours of sun a day at least. And the great thing about it is that it should last into autumn. So it's a hybrid kind of a sunflower, specially um, devised so that it has a longer life. Some sunflowers last maybe three to four weeks, but this one is supposed to last nine to 12 weeks. So that should take me into maybe October, uh, and that would be great to have this in the garden that long. It's super easy maintenance. I can see how this could be really gorgeous if you had, you know, three or four of them in a row. Um, the only thing that I've noticed about it is that it can get buggy. Already I'm seeing that there's a few little flies on it, you know, and, um, and also some ants crawling on it. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a um, neem oil medicine tonight. Uh, so anyways, this is Sunflower number one, it's called Sunfinity. This is sunflower number two. This is called Suncredible. <laughs> Everybody's thinking of these very uh, innovative names to distinguish themselves. It's also an annual. It's a hybrid, it's a helianthus hybrid. It is also ever blooming. It gets these beautiful little blooms that have the um, there looks like there's a little creature in there. I'm not sure what that is. But they have the um, dark middle and then the petals that are orange uh, and yellow. It has been uh, beautiful here in the front yard. I don't deadhead this one. I just let it grow wild. And you can see that it, I probably brought it home in maybe a six inch pot and it has spread across the garden here. The rose is in the way a little bit, but it has spread across the garden, probably, what would that be? Maybe three to four feet. And it's lovely because it provides a lot of color in the border and it was absolutely no, it's absolutely no care, except I will say, um, when I bought it, it said that it was disease resistant. Now in the front yard, that has been true. It's been happy and no problem. But in the backyard, I put one as well in my garden and it never went anywhere. The bugs just ate it the entire season and it's been a big disappointment. So I do think that it's not exactly disease resistant. But it reblooms. I can see again here how a mass planting of these, um, sort of in the back of a border, could be absolutely gorgeous. So here's sunflower number three, but really it's not a sunflower. It looks like a sunflower. It's called a Rudbeckia. Rudbeckia. And it is in the coneflower family, or the black eyed Susan family, if you know those names. Um, it has the large central disc, which sticks up, and then the petals are sort of, the ray, the ray florets push out and down, which is different from the other sunflowers, where you can see the petals push up and around the um, central disc. So here they push out and down. Um, 
it is a perennial not an annual so hopefully I just planted this one two weeks ago and he's been a little bit persnickety about water he likes a lot of water so at the end of the day sometimes he's flopping over because he didn't get enough but I think once he gets established he'll be fine and um, he has such an interesting history and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that he is named after the patron of a scientist who wanted to honor his mentor. So this is named after Olaf Rudbeck by his uh, student Linnaeus and when he named this flower this is what he said about it in relationship to his mentor whom he cared for very much. So long as the earth shall survive, and as each spring shall see it covered with flowers, the Rudbeckia will preserve your glorious name. I have chosen a noble plant in order to recall your merits that you have rendered, a tall plant to give an idea of your stature, and I wanted it to be one which branched and which flowered and fruited freely to show that you cultivated not only the sciences, but also the humanities. Its rayed flowers will bear witness that you shone among savants like the sun among the stars, and its perennial roots will remind us that each year sees you live again through new works. Pride of our gardens, the Rudbeckia will be cultivated throughout Europe and in distant lands where your revered name must long have been known." So I think that's so beautiful because I believe that too about gardens, that they honor the legacy of those that we love and those that we that have touched our lives and that's certainly true of this uh, this plant the rudbeckia the last sunflower is the mammoth sunflower this guy is almost 12 feet tall he is astonishing and I have a surprise for you. Wouldn't you love to see what is at the top of the sunflower? Let's see if we can find out. My darling husband, when I told him that I couldn't see the top of the flower, said, well, let me get out my drone. So this is drone footage that's going to fly to the top of the flower so we can see what's up there. Mm-hmm, I can see a flower is coming. It's so exciting. These flowers, as you can see, are almost as tall as the house. They're enormous. And you can see also, in my blog I talked about the two lessons that I learned from sunflowers. One of them was that sunflowers heal. The sunflower on the very left is the one that broke in half. I talked about this on my blog today. And I put him together and taped him up and he actually is thriving and is almost the same size as the other uh, sunflowers that did not have that emergency happen to them. And the other thing is that you can see the little sunflower in the front. He's a lot shorter and he's the one that's crooked, but he's thriving and he's growing. I'm so happy to see my sunflower hedgerow thriving in the sun. And thanks to my husband for the technology, the drone footage was fabulous.